Hello and welcome to another internet video. Uh, I don't have an intro for this one, so I'll just say I don't understand how IBS works. I think anyone could have IBS if you know where to eat. Good morning. Uh, I'll be answering several questions in this one, so I'll probably call it something like several questions, unless something exciting or organically funny happens before the end. Also, I have a bunch of stand updates coming up and I'll tell you where they are at the end of the video. Mike, what do you do when your friend sleeps with your crush? I don't know. I don't know. Ask them if it was good and then try to delete your friend out of your mental image. So many questions. Why isn't your crush your girlfriend or boyfriend? What are you doing, calling dibs? You don't call dibs, you're attracted to someone and then you walk up to them and you say, hey, Yes, you wanna buy what I'm selling? And then they either say yes or no. And then you mosey, depending. How do you spell mosey? I'm gonna need to know that for the closed captioning. Also, are you already in a relationship? Because then it matters way less. Or did you mean crush like orange soda crush? Is your friend f***ing your soda? Because that doesn't seem like something a friend would do. Mike, I would like it if you made a video with suggestions uh, on how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich without being boring. Okay, uh, go ahead and you spread jelly on one piece of bread and then you spread peanut butter on the other and then you never let yourself succumb to self-doubt and you try to learn something new every day. Hey Mike, at a loss regarding a kind of funny situation and can't think of a solution, was hoping you might have some advice! Exclamation point, I'm getting a boob job in two weeks, congratulations, humble brag. My mom is on board and even offered to pay for part of the operation, but we both agree that my dad should be kept out of the loop. Love him, comma, but we don't have the most candid relationship. Neither of us could think of an excuse uh, about why to tell him that I will be gone the day of the operation or why I will be in recovery recovery for a week afterwards. Any ideas? Uh, tell him you did it and tell him you did it because you wanted to do it. <laughs> your body, lady, those are your boobs. Say it with me. <laughs> I don't know what keeping him out of the loop is gonna do. Man, chances are you show up with boobs. Your dad's gonna notice. Can't just show up with boobs. You can just tell him that you tried to get shoulder implants and they moved on the car ride home but I don't think he's gonna buy it. Just tell him, man, I'm sure he'll get over it. You're still the same person regardless of what kind of shoulders you have. Hello, Mr. Mike Falzone. Hello, hey. I know what I want to do in life. It will definitely include writing both stories and songs, hopefully performing them as well. However, I'm afraid to present myself or put myself out there. I don't know where to start and I feel stupid for feeling this way due to how sure so many artists tend to feel, especially at my age, 16, he's 16, and become strong, fulfilled artists. Yelp! <laughs> uh, hello, first of all, I don't know that most 16 year olds, I won't put it on anybody else. I'm 32 and I'm not always the most confident of artists. You gotta doubt your shit all the time. You can't just think, hey, all my shit's perfect and mistakeless because that gets you nowhere forever. Mistakeless or flawless? Dude, I put more work into making up words that don't exist. I should just learn the words that exist and I wouldn't have to use Let's just, oh, first of all, I think it's great that you want to do all that stuff. Wanting to do it is a great first step. I, I want to swim in chocolate like a goose of gloom, but that's never gonna happen unless I find a fondue pot the size of a bathtub. You know what I mean? But nothing that you want to happen, excuse me, oh, is ever gonna start happening if you don't start doing it. And here's another thing about being fulfilled and flawless. Have patience because you're not gonna be good at what you're doing right away. That means you have to suck for a while in order to get better. You gotta suck at stuff in order to get good eventually, which means that you have to start in order to suck, so it all starts with starting for you. So start sucking. Um. Doing a bunch of fun stand-up stuff this month, come out if you can. On Thursday the 12th, I'm at the Comedy Store in the Belly Room with Jody Miller for the C Word Show. On Friday the 13th, I'm at Sycamore Tavern in Hollywood at 7.30. Uh, and on Sunday the 15th, I'm in the Comedy uh, Store Main Room and that's a benefit for an animal shelter. I think that starts at 7.30. I'll provide the link down below and there's a promo code. You could do like a two for one ticket thing. I think if you do the number two, uh, uh, Mike two for one or something like that. I'll put everything in the, why say it when you could just type it out? I always say, love you.